Hey everybody, Joe Lowry, what a day. Happy Tuesday out there, happy Taco Tuesday. I hope everybody had a great day, and how about those parade goers out there? How the Patriots today celebrated their uh, Super Bowl 51 victory with a huge parade in downtown Boston. Over one million parade goers descended onto Boston to greet the team and witness the fifth Super Bowl trophy that they brought home. You know, despite the rain and the snow and the gross conditions, no doubt New England Patriot fans, the quintessential New England Patriot fans, are the best. And they are better than the seven Atlanta Falcon fans that showed up to greet the team the other day. That's right, folks. Atlanta Falcons flew home yesterday and only seven fans showed up to greet them. Can you believe it? We have just as many Super Bowl trophies as they do fans. I doubt another reason why New England Patriots fans are truly the best. And I go, I guess the big story out of the post-Super Bowl besides Tom Brady's missing jersey is that Giselle, Tom Brady's wife, asked him to retire almost up to three times after the game ended. That's right, Tom Brady's response, I'll read it verbatim, was, Too bad, babe, I'm having too much fun right now. You know, I feel I can still do it, and if you love what you do and you're capable of doing it, then I might be so bored if I wasn't going out there knowing that I can still do it. So I'm going to work hard and be ready to go, and I still plan on playing football for a long, long time. And that's Tom Brady's response, no doubt. That is a formula for success. And what news out of the, the news frontier sports-wise was the timing of this one. Don Sweeney held a press conference this morning to announce that he fired Bruins head coach Claude Julian. A lot of people weren't questioning the actual firing, but questioning the timing of the decision. Why he did it this morning, not last night or tomorrow morning, but he actually took some reporters away from the parade to announce Claude Julian's fire. He was the longest tenured Bruins coach at 10 years in the most winningest. And, of course, the... Uh, the 2009-2010 uh, championship run. But no more. Claude Julian, thanks a lot. Thanks for helping us win. And we're on to San Jose this Thursday as we host the San Jose Sharks with new Bruins coach Bruce Cassidy. Well, on the political front, for the first time ever, VP Mike Fence broke a deadlock vote in order for Betsy DeVos to be confirmed as the U.S. Educational Secretary. This historic vote by Mike Pence keeps the Trump train chugging along. That's right. And congratulations go out to the Rock and Roll Express for their induction in the WWE Hall of Fame as Ricky Morton and Robert Gibson, who were the tag teams that thrilled fans in the 80s and early 90s in the Mid-South Territories for over 15 years. WWE Hall of Fame ceremony takes place Friday, March 31st at the Amway Center in Orlando, Florida, which of course we all know is WrestleMania weekend. And here we go again. We have one of those Channel 5 weather impact days coming up, I guess, this Thursday. Most of Massachusetts right now looking for 6 to 12 inches, but the timing of the storm, as always, during the day, it's going to affect both commutes. No doubt it'll be a nightmarish time for everybody. So if you can work from home on Thursday, you might want to do that as well. But on a somber note, North Whitney High School class of 88 alum Lillian Sheon has passed away this past weekend. I was told that her wake will be held this Friday, February 10th, from 4 to 8 at the Leiden Funeral Home in Wollaston. Thoughts and prayers to the Sheonis family for that one. And also, don't forget, fans, the truck for Fenway Park left today. That's right. Pitches and catches report in less than two weeks. And the rest of the team, three weeks from now. And as mentioned, the truck did leave for Fenway Park today. So a lot happening out there. You know, be careful tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's supposed to be mild, but, you know, it is going to be wild Wednesday, wacky Wednesday hump day, as I like to call it. And once again, finally, please check out my YouTube page, www.youtube.com slash Joe Lowry. What a day. I'm still climbing there. Got to get to 1,000 subscribers. I need your help. It's free. Everything is free about it. I just need you to hit subscribe. Just log on, tell your friends, scream, create email accounts, do what you got to do. I promise once I get to 1,000, I will read each and everybody's name. And that's it for me, everybody. I'm Joe Lowry. What a day.